Hi there, Denny here from Disney's Animal Kingdom, and guess what? It's dinner time, and <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little something to eat, but I'm not just gonna go to one location. I'm going to go to several. <laughs> it's a little bit of an adventure here. Listen, the cast member, when I pulled in through the parking plaza, told me to have a wild time tonight. So I'm going to. I'm off to what used to be my favorite counter service location here in the park before Satuli Canteen came in. And I gotta be honest, once Satuli Canteen came to town, this spot took a back seat. No more. I'm gonna try it out again for the first time in a long time tonight. I'm headed to Anandapur Local Foods Cafe. That's that counter service that's right next to Yak and Yeti, the table service. So. I'm gonna go get some chicken. I'll start out my meal with that and we'll see where I end up. Let's go. I'm in what is my favorite um, place to sit and eat here in Animal Kingdom, like all of the park. It is a lower area. It's right here by the waterfront. It's across from Local Foods Cafe. It's accessible. Um, it has both stairs and a ramp, and it is just lit with these, with just lovely Edison bulbs overhead. It's I love it. I used to sit down here when there weren't real tables here. Like my hubby and I would just come over and, and get food at the cafe and settle in over here. Like no one knew about it. People know about it now. It's okay though. I have found a table and it's also, it's, it's even, it's even more fun. Like when the flotillas are going by and you'll have characters literally right here as you're eating just floating right by you. To begin my Animal Kingdom meal tonight, I have chosen the honey sesame chicken. This is chunks of chicken that is tempura fried. It has a honey sesame sauce on it. It has sesame spr seeds sprinkled on top. It comes with fresh vegetables and white rice for $13.99. It has been a very long time since I have had this. They used to serve this in a takeaway like what you would typically see Chinese food takeaway um, come in and they'll do that for the fried rice side right now which by the way is the most popular side on the menu. I spoke to a cast member earlier who confirmed that at six dollars and 99 cents and that will still come in that cute little container. This now comes with fresh veggies. It used to way back in the day come with broccoli and let me just show you how large the chunks of tempura fried chicken are. Like that's a nice chunk of chicken. I am going to dig right in because I am hungry. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. We've got um, squash going on and then also zucchini, little bits of carrot, but really it's, as, it's very squash forward. So if you're like my sister and you don't like squash, avoid this or, or just pick around them. <laughs> I've got a little bit of everything right down to the white rice. Here we go. Friends, it's been years since I've had this honey sesame chicken, but immediately it's like Anton Ego in the end of Ratatouille where he tastes the ratatouille and all of a sudden he's just brought back to his childhood. Right back, right back. It is just so good. It's not a light fry. It's tempura, it's tempura batter. So you're gonna expect something that's a little bit thicker. That honey sesame sauce is just delicious. It just, it's simple, it's delicious. I like the addition of the sprinkled sesame seeds on top and the fresh veggies are quite good. Like they're crisp without being overly so. Yeah, those veggies are perfectly, perfectly done. Perfect. Gotta, gotta go in for some more. You know what? Filling, warm, familiar. Like if you're, if you're coming, if you have someone who's a member of your touring party who needs something kind of that might taste a little bit more familiar. It is like what you would eat at home if you eat <laughs> tempura fried food at home. It's here and it's really, it's really good. It's huge chunks here. Let me cut some in half for you. Huge chunks of white 
chicken. Moist, not dried out. Forgive me for the usage of the word moist, but not at all dried out. Super excited that it's just as good as it's always been. Listen, I'm gonna finish this meal. I'm gonna enjoy it too. And then I think maybe I'll get something to wash this whole thing down with. And then a dessert, of course, right? Gotta have dessert at Walt Disney World. <laughs> See you then. All right, I have enjoyed my honey sesame chicken and enjoy that chicken I did. Not a bad bite of chicken in the entire dish. That rice wasn't sticky at all. It was wonderfully, just, it, it was just, it was perfect. Um, the only knock that I'll give it is I would love a few more of those veggies, but this is Disney counter service, so I know we have to manage our expectations. But really, that was a delicious way to start out my meal. As I mentioned earlier, it's time for a little something to wash it down. And I don't drink, but if you do, Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks, I have heard is a nice option. So I'm gonna have a Pink Lotus. It's a little bit of a combination with a lemonade base to it, and I've never had it before. So it's time for something new. As I said, I chose to get the Pink Lotus, the non-alcoholic mocktail that they offer at Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks. Now Trek Snacks is the counter that's kind of next to it. You can get popcorn there and um, frozen novelties and pretzels and things like that. The, the standard Disney snacks you would think you can get there, you can actually get there. I will always think of that place with great fondness and just wait with bated breath for them to release another amazing snack like the Expedition Everest Base Camp Macroom. Years ago they had that. I had the pleasure of reviewing it. Man, that snack was A, massive and B, delicious. <laughs> and how I wish that they would bring something back like that. But I digress. I need to wash down my honey sesame chicken and it is with the Pink Lotus. The Pink Lotus is $5.49 at Thirsty River Bar and it features Minute Maid Premium Lemonade, Strawberry and Lychee. Now I am intrigued at the introduction of lychee to it. Lychee is just, it's not one of those overwhelming flavors, subtly sweet, um, but not like wham in your face. So I, I am looking forward to this right now. I am settled in at the amphitheater that hosted Kite Tales and Rivers of Light back in the day. Right now a show is not happening in the amphitheater. So they are letting park guests kind of come in, get a quiet spot, rest for a while, do whatever you want to do here. And it's, it's just, this is a massive, massive amphitheater. Um, I hope they find um, uh, some live entertainment that works really, really well and connects with park guests here for this amphitheater to be used because it is, it is massive and it is lovely. And you're also right here at the base of Expedition Everest, so you can hear all the park guests screaming if that's your thing, which I love. I love everything having to do with Expedition Everest. All right, here goes. Bottoms up. Cheers to you. Let's go. Ooh, okay, mix it up. <laughs> this is a pre-mixed drink, so when the bartender makes it for you, um, they're gonna go right over to that um, Pink Lotus beverage dispenser and they're gonna get you a cup. But So you can kind of swish it around, stir it around a little bit if you need to. That's nice. You know how sometimes lemonade-based drinks are just way over the top lemonade, like too lemonade forward, too acidic, this is not that like the lemonade is there but it in equal measure has the strawberry going on and then the addition of the lychee is really nice because sometimes 
strawberry can be overpowering too, right? No, this is perfect. Perfect balance. Oh, I've got the strawberry going on, but also just that sweetness of the lychee. And I'm so happy that the lemonade is not overpowering. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm going to savor this one here in this beautiful amphitheater. And then friends, it's going to be time for dessert. Now the dessert I have in mind, we're going to need to walk a little bit to get. But that's okay. We've got all the time in the world. As you can see, the sun has set. But we've got to cap this meal off with something sweet. And I have made my way over here to Dino Land at USA. Dino Bite Snacks does not have their main <laughs> sign lit tonight. The EAT Snacks sign is lit so that's good so i'm here at dynabite snacks and i'm going to have a dessert specific to the 50th anniversary it's involving ice cream which this location actually scoops haagen ice cream plaza ice cream parlor does edie's this one does haagen so you take your pick of your favorite anyhow we've got cookies going on we've got a chocolate 50th medallion going on and we've got haagen ice cream. It's a 50th anniversary cookie sandwich. I've never had it before, but that's how we're gonna cap off this evening. <laughs> Let's go. So I am settled in here just beside Dino Bites. And just to orient you within the park or within Dino Land USA, so you'll find Dino Bite snacks right outside of Restaurantosaurus or right next to Restaurantosaurus. In fact, the seating location for Dino Bite snacks is, is just right outside of one of the extensions of Restaurantosaurus. Restaurantosaurus, if you've never been inside, it is, it's expansive it, and it kind of has room after room after room. And by the way, even if you don't want to eat at Restaurantosaurus, please go in there and take a look at the theming. Each room is differently themed. I love kind of looking around while I'm in there. For dessert, I have the 50th anniversary cookie ice cream sandwich. Two double chocolate chip cookies with sprinkles, a chocolate 50th anniversary medallion, and haagen vanilla ice cream on the inside. Let's take a look at this snack. I know you just looked at a little B-roll of the snack, but let's, let's really look at it. Number one, you can, I confirmed with the cast member, you can pick whatever flavor ice cream you want to, uh, to go inside of your cookie sandwich. So they have here at this location, again, it's haagen -Dazs. They have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and butter pecan. That's it. I went ahead and went with the vanilla because this is the way that the dessert was designed and I wanted it the way that Disney wanted me to have it. Now, one thing about the sprinkles, they are baked in. Look how beautiful they are. So pretty. And then we've got with a little dollop of ice cream, a 50th anniversary chocolate medallion, which I'm intrigued about. It's not the white chocolate medallions the tasteless white chocolate medallions you and I are used to. One thing, oh, we've got, <laughs> the medallion just fell off. Oh gosh. <laughs> One thing, um, I'm just take, taking a look inside. We've got sprinkles on the inside, which is cute because the sprinkles were actually supposed to be in, in the picture. The sprinkles were supposed to be on the outside of the ice cream and they're not so they tucked them in the inside look how massive this thing is oh i wish you were here to share this with me my gosh here we go cheers okay as you might expect just by looking at them the cookies are a little overdone they're a little too crunchy that being said that allows them to be nice and sturdy to stand up to the ice cream and the ice cream is just squirting out of the sides of this cookie sandwich. I'm not complaining. It's yummy. These cookies are definitely overdone. <laughs> but that being said, it was $7.59. I'm going to eat the entire thing. Is this overpriced? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Even though that ice cream sandwich is massive, $7.59. That's just... 
that's just too much. Cookie's overdone. Looks really cute, but no, that's, I would advise skipping and going to, I mean, there are too many great snacks in this park to spend money on something that might not be as great. So while it is in front of me and therefore I will eat it, <laughs> I'm not getting it again, that's for sure. We need to try the chocolate medallion. Here we go, that was okay. <laughs> Don't get it for the chocolate medallion. I am going to finish it. So I have found a quiet table here behind Flame Tree Barbecue, which if you need another quiet spot here in Disney's Animal Kingdom, this is another great one. There are just like different just seating areas all centered around a beautiful fountain like waterfall-ish fountain right here on the water here. There's Expedition Everest right there. Like it's, it's another spot that if you don't know it's back here, you just would never know, oh, I need to look there. Like it's something to be enjoyed. It's definitely something to be enjoyed. I had a blast traversing around the park tonight and kind of having a progressive dinner. <laughs> That's what I had. As I, as I made my way around the park, listen, just to recap, that honey sesame chicken, so good. $13.99, it will fill you up. You won't leave wanting more, except for maybe a couple more of those fresh veggies. I mean, other than that, but it was delicious. And then I made my way over to Thirsty River Bar and had the pink lotus for $5.49. Again, so good, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that drink. It was the perfect blend of sweet and sour. I loved that it wasn't like, let's just give them a ton of lemonade and a little bit of flavoring. No, it was, it was really thoughtfully done and I enjoyed it. One thing to note with Thirsty River Bar, because it is a bar location, just like any other bar location, you're gonna be given the opportunity to tip your bartender. Go ahead and do that. Of course, on all Disney receipts, they give you like 18%, 20%, like they, they do the, the tallying for you so you don't have to sit there and do math unless you want to. It's not tough math when it's $5.49, so I don't mind. <laughs> uh, that is definitely noteworthy. I don't want you to be caught off guard at all with that. And then for dessert, I had that 50th anniversary chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. Listen, as I continued eating that cookie sandwich, I, I don't know what changed, <laughs> if it was me or the cookie sandwich, but I did enjoy it. Was it something I will have again? No, it's not. And listen, we talk about this on the channel all the time, like your Disney snack dollars, your Disney dining dollars are just way too precious to go wasting on something that isn't stellar, like something that's the most enjoyable it can be. I might go to Tamu Tamu for their scar themed Dole Whip next time. There's sour apple going on in that, so I've got that. I've got my eyes on that, we'll see. Well, I had a great time in the park this evening. It was so much fun and I'm leaving full, that's for sure. When you're here at Animal Kingdom, what's your go-to? Snack, counter service wise, even table service wise? Please let me know your favorites in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your ideas and what you love the very most. What is the one, the one snack? Like if you would, so maybe we have a couple different questions. What's the one snack that you would recommend people try here in Animal Kingdom? Let me know in the comments and you know I'll be adding that to my list. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it with a friend. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be reminded every single time that I put up a new video. You won't, you won't miss one. It's a win-win. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Denny underscore Sunderly, D-E-N-I underscore S-U-N-D-E-R-L-Y. I have a lot of fun on Instagram, just kind of traipsing around. Stop into my stories. You never know when I'll be in a Disney park. Have a great one, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming and spending a little bit of your time with me. Take good care. Bye. <laughs>